the shirt has arrived, but are we living up to the fans' expectations? We're 13 games in, and we've got a big one today against our rivals Wickham. So let's get into episode two of Educating the League. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And, well, we've got a big game today against our rivals, Wickham Wanderers, in the league. And it's a big game for another reason as well, which I will tell you all about in just a minute. But before we do that, shall I crack on and tell you all about the loan deals we've been able to bring in since we've last been together? And also, one big, big free agent has has been signed. And so you know all about Baptiste and Iqbal. Told you about them in the first episode. But then since then, we have brought in Jude Soonsop Bell from Tottenham on loan. He is a 18-year-old English striker, three and a half star, three, maybe five star potential ability. He's got 14 finishing, 20 determination. He's played three, four, six times for us thus far. And he's got three goals. So not too bad. Both of those goals in the Carvel Cup came off the bench, actually. So that was very, very nice to see. And we're paying him uh, 1100 a week. But that is the only loan deal we're paying any money towards. So I think 1100 for four or five loan players. Not too bad when you think about it. And so, after him, we have got the highly rated American goalkeeper from Chelsea, Gabriel Slonina. He's 18 years old, got a transfer value of maybe almost 10 million. So, well, having a player like that in the club is very nice, isn't it? And so he's got three star current, four, maybe five star potential ability. He's six foot five, 18 jumping reach, 18 determination. Okay at one on ones. He's good with his reflexes and good aerial reach. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does for us so far. And, well, he's so far, he's played four games and conceded four goals. Three came in one game, I think it might have been. But, yeah, he's conceded three in the league. So. Not the best start for him, but it will only get better, I am sure. And then following him in is Sammy Braybrook from Leicester City. Central midfielder, 18 years old once again. Three and a half star current, maybe five star potential ability. He again has played four games and done precisely nothing really. If we look at his passes though, he's attempted 448 passes and he's completed 132 so 89 percent pass completion ratio is not bad and seven key passes so while he's not scored or he's not got any assists he's still been all right he's still been very solid so far for us and then after that was a mad transfer deal that i did not think we could pull off adam randell on loan from our league one rivals plymouth he is on the transfer list there and we was looking to bring him in on a full transfer deal, but we couldn't afford it. We couldn't work it out. And so I went in with a loan deal. Just let us have him. No wages, no anything. And after about a week and on transfer deadline day, I think it was, they finally said, all right, fine, sod it. You can have him. So, yeah, Adam Randell, we've got him on a free loan deal. Very good determination, good work rate, good teamwork, good natural fitness. And you can see here that he's only missed nine passes so far this season. Out of the eight, nine, ten, eleven, out of the eleven games he's played so far this season. So, very happy with that. He's one of those players who just keeps the team ticking along. They're players I do really, really like. And so, yep, very happy to have him in. And then our last loan deal, Harvey Vale. He is a central midfielder, attacking midfielder, can also play on the wings. He is 19 years old, 5.2 million to 6.4 million value, maybe five-star potential, okay acceleration, okay pace, not the best strength, but that might be something we work him on. And he's got decent concentration and good vision and good work rate. And so, yeah, I'm fairly comfortable with him. He's not done a whole lot again so far, but he is still getting into the groove. I believe he made his professional debut with us. So it might take him a little while to get going. But once he does, 
I think there's a player in there. And so that brings us on to our big, big free agent deal. And well, I told you it was a big one. And it literally is because the man is six foot six, Khalifa Koulibaly. I'm sure most of you will know who he is. He's played at Nantes. He's played at Ghent, who my team, West Ham, are playing against tomorrow night as of recording. So hopefully we can carry on our run in the Conference League and get a result there. But yeah, he's played at Ghent and he started off at PSG. At least he started off in Europe at PSG. Never got a game for them. But surely just being there in their academy would have done him some world of good. But yep, six foot six, 17 strength, 17 jumping reach, 16 balance, uh, 11 finishing, but 15 heading. And so that is what you want to see from someone who's six foot six. I think he's going to get us a load of goals from corners and set pieces and all that sort of thing. We are paying him two and a half grand a week, which is a little bit more than I would have liked. but. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll see at the end of the season how many goals he's got and if he's proved to be worth that. Quite high wages, I think, in my opinion. And so that is all the transfer deals done. Let's crack on with the results because it's been up and down, I think you can say. More up, but definitely up and down. And so here we are. You was with us for the game against Derby County, which we did win in the last minute with that beautiful Alejandro Gorin goal in the 93rd minute. And then, as far as the league is concerned, it was perfect in August. We beat Cambridge in the boat race derby, beat Bristol Rovers 3-1, Tyler Smith getting a hat-trick in that game. Tyler Smith, by the way, 13 goals from 13 games so far this season. He is doing very well. Lincoln, 4-2, we smashed them. 2-0 against Morecambe. And then our best performance of the season so far, 4-0 against Cheltenham Town. But I do think Cheltenham are struggling. Yeah, they are bottom of the league. But still, four goals in any game is not to be sniffed at. Marcus Brown getting two. Canati getting one. Tyler Smith opening the scoring. And then we did have a couple of defeats in the Cups, but they were both on penalties. We was 2-0 down against Plymouth. Oh, no, no, was we 2-0 down? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. We was 1-0 down. We was 1-0 down. And then, yeah, 1-0 down and then one all, And then 2-1 in the 92nd minute. But then we equalised in the 95th minute to take it to penalties. And then it went all the way around to the goalkeepers. It was our... Was it our goalkeeper? No, it was our central defender, Golding, who missed at about 11-10 or something along those lines. So very long penalty shootout. And we did eventually go out of the League Cup in that particular game. And then we had another one where, again, Soon Sook Bell equalised late to get us to go to penalties. And again, we lost it. But that is only in the stupid pizza cup. So not really that bothered, to be honest. But then what I am bothered about is September. We went one, two, three, four league games without getting a win. 2-1 defeat to Burton. 3 all draw against Shrewsbury. We equalised, well, we conceded, sorry, twice in injury time to go from 3-1 up and flying to absolutely gutted in that game. And then we had another 2-2 against Plymouth. Again, another late goal for us. Cameron Brannigan in the 95th minute. And then we lost 1-0 against MK Dons. Um, we tried to change up the tactics a little bit in this game because I've noticed my players have been getting very, very tired towards the end of games. So, yeah. So, yeah, we tried to change the tactics up. It didn't really work. And, yeah, we, we soon went back to our normal tactics and we got a 2-0 win in the in the Papa John's with Khalifa Koulibaly getting his first two goals for us off the bench. And then Fleetwood, we beat them 2-0. Koulibaly again, this time in the 89th minute, off the bench again to win that one for us. And then Cholton, just now, 2-2, we drew against them. 2-0 up within 14 minutes. But again, the old fatigue, the stamina did just come back to bite us. And yeah, so that does all mean that we are third in the league. But if we beat Wickham, who are top, then we could could go top of the table today, which would be very, very nice. Obviously, depending on what Sheffield Wednesday do as well. And so, well, yeah, shall we get into today's game?
The team for today's game looks like this. We've got Slonina in goal. Findlay, Moore, Brown and Anderson are the back four. Findlay has been moved to a no-nonsense fullback role just because he's not been playing that well and my assistant su suggested that that might be a good idea. So Findlay is a no-nonsense fullback today. And then in the midfield, we've got Brannigan as a ball-winning midfielder. And then we've got two Mazalas on attack, Rodriguez, Gorin and Iqbal. And then up front, it is Brown and Canate. Canate's apparently been our best player by average rating so far this season. And then up top, we've got Tyler Smith. Of course, 13 goals in 13 games. Can he keep that going today? Really, really hope he can. Come on, you yellers. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. And I'm going to say the media give you a lot of credit lately. And, well, 10 out of the 11 have had a positive reaction to that. Everyone apart from Canate. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to give a very bold prediction. 3-0 to us. Come on, Oxford. First highlight of the game, and it's McCarthy coming forward. He goes back to Grimmer. McCarthy, once again, on the wing, goes inside to Wheeler, but he loses it out from a tackle from Smith. Rodriguez through to Canate. Canate's through and into the box, and he scores. Atif Canate with his second of the season gives us a very early lead in this massive game here today. And yes... That is how you start a top-of-the-table game. Rodriguez with a beautiful pass through to Canate, and he gave their keeper absolutely no chance. 12 minutes into the game now, and it's McCarthy to Hanlon. McCarthy crosses the ball in. Anderson heads it away, and now it's Brown with us on the counter. Can we get the ball forward? Brown does play it long, but it goes only as far as the man in the Wickham area, Strijek. And now Willis to Obita, Wheeler, Gape, Wickham passing the ball around nicely as they go out wide to McCarthy on their right-hand side. And McCarthy plays it in, Hanlon's in behind the defence and it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, I have seen that goal way too many times this season. It's a high defensive line. It gets caught out so many times. Ah, oh, as soon as I saw McCarthy play the ball and I saw Hanlon get in, I knew, I knew that they was going to equalise there. Well, that's been a first half that has happened. I think I can say that. Not any highlights apart from those two goals. Uh, well, something needs to kick this game into life. But let's have a look at the stats as we are at half time. Wickham with seven shots, three on target. To our three with just one on target. And strangely for us this season, only 48% possession. We've just not been playing as well as what we normally do. So let's get into the dressing room. And I'm going to tell the lads we've not been good enough. Uh, can I say that? Um, I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. And that's got everybody motivated, apart from Elliot Moore, who is now looking anxious. So let's have a word with him. And uh, I have faith, still seeming anxious. That's a worry. He's one we're going to have a look for. But, well, my 3-0 prediction's already, already been proved wrong. So I'll take a 2-1 now, please. Just any kind of win. Come on, boys. We've now got just over 20 minutes left of the game. No highlights in this second half as of yet. So, with making three changes, Brannigan, Brown and Smith all off for Soonsop Bell, Josh Murphy and Marcus McGrain. Hopefully, one of them can make a little bit of difference. I'm tempted to try and go a little bit longer with the ball. And I'm also tempted to change Bell for Koulibaly. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave it at Soonsop Bell. I'm going to leave it at, at him. But we are going to play the ball a little bit more forward. And just see what that can do for us. And so, come on, lads. 20 minutes left. A highlight. That's all I want. Just one highlight, please. 10 minutes left in the game. I've just berated the team. And so, let's see if that gets any kind of reaction. We have gone long. And Strijek has collected the ball. And he's gone long himself. And now it's Anderson. He goes long. I know I told the boys to go long. But not every pass, please. Iqbal. Anderson. 
Anderson does, and Bell's in. Bell is in. I think he's on side here. Bell with the shot, and Jude soon shot Bell gives us the lead in this massive game. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, I feel like Ryan Reynolds right now celebrating an offside goal. Well, following that disallowed goal, we've got just over five minutes left. And so I'm going two up top now. We've got Kulafa Kulabali up top, replacing Atif Kanati, who did score our goal, but is looking very knackered. And well, you can see here what I'm on about with my tactics. But he, all the players that have started the game now look very, very knackered. And, well, I don't really know how to change it, but still get results. Um, I might go through the tactics in, in the next video and see if you guys can give us any sort of help. Because I don't like my players getting this tired at the end of games. But anyway, last five minutes. Come on, let's nick a winner. Well, we might do just that. Brown has got the ball. He's played it forward and Wickham have headed it away. And no, no, it might be Wickham coming forward. Gape, he's got a gaping hole in the midfield. Campbell, he's crossed it. And Hanlon and Debar, no. No, Jay Debar. And that's offside. That's offside as well. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank God for that. And well, yeah. Yeah, and seeing it now in, in, in like the replay... Yeah, they was definitely offside. Well, that is how it ends. After giving it the big build-up before the game, top of the table game, we could go top of the league. We didn't show up. We did not show up at all. Only six shots. Only one on target. Yeah, this is definitely our worst performance of the season thus far. With them having 14 shots and seven on target. And them beating us on the possession battle. That was a very poor performance. Let's go hands on hips. I'm not happy with your performance. And that's got a good reaction out of almost everybody. So I'll take it there. Let's have a look at the league table. And then we shall finish for today. So this is the league table now with 13 games played. We are third in the table. 25 points. Four points behind Sheffield Wednesday who have gone top following our draw with Wickham here tonight. And so, you know what, third? I'd have taken that at the start of the season. So if we can stay in and around here, at least get the playoffs. I think the playoffs could be doable this season. So, yeah, third, I'm happy with that. And you know what else I'd be very happy with, people? If you could do some massive favours for me, like the video down below, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content. I've got an experiment I'm going to bring to you soon that could be interesting, could be unique. And so, yep, guys, look look out for that. And also follow me on Twitter at staylorcoms. Give me a follow over there. And well, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much. And I shall see you next time.